can you use atomic notation to figure out how many protons, neutrons, and electrons are in a particle? Yes, you can. There are two places to find the number of protons. If there is a number written in the bottom left-hand corner, that is your number of protons. This is 34. I use P plus for protons, but that's just me. But also, the symbol for the atom gives you that as well. Selenium is here, and you'll notice on my periodic table, it's element 34. That's telling you how many protons are in it. Great. Now, how many neutrons are in this particle? That you can't tell from the periodic table unless your teacher hasn't even given you a mass number. But most teachers will. 79 is this mass number. That means there are 79 protons and neutrons combined. So, 79 minus 34, or the difference between those two numbers, is the number of neutrons. We can do that in our head. This one is 45 neutrons. I put N with a little superscript zero for no charge. To get the number of electrons, you have to base it off of the charge. Now this one has no charge. It's neutral. That's not a zero. I'm actually just circling the fact that it's blank. If there is no charge, the number of electrons is the same as the number of protons. Got it? Because same number of pluses and minuses give you a total charge of zero. Great. Let's do it again. There is no number in the bottom left-hand corner here. So how are we supposed to know how many protons there are? The periodic table will tell us that all nickel atoms have 28 protons by definition. It is the element itself that is telling us that. The number of neutrons. Now we are given a mass number of 59 here. So you take away the number of protons from that number and it'll tell you how many neutrons there are. 59 less the 28 that was our protons gives you the number of neutrons. Now, this particle does have a charge, it's plus two. That means it has two less electrons than protons. Losing minuses is what gives you a plus charge, get it? So compared to the 28 protons, we only have 26 electrons here. Great. One more, tellurium. Uh, where's tellurium? Is it down here? Yeah, 52 is its atomic number. So that's 52 protons. Great. How do we do neutrons? It's the mass number, 128 minus the number of protons. Now, if you do that, you get 76 neutrons. And lastly, the charge here is minus one. If it's just the symbol, we assume the number was one. This is minus one, which means you actually have one more electron than protons because adding negatives is what gives you a negative charge. 52 protons, we need one more than that in terms of electrons, it's 53. Great. If your teacher does not give you a mass number, here it's 128, you can call this isotope tellurium 128 after all, then what you should do is find the atomic mass on the periodic table and round it to the nearest whole number. I'm not even promising you that that isotope exists, but when your teacher doesn't give you a mass number, you're hamstrung, you gotta find a number to use to calculate number of neutrons. Great, pretty straightforward. You find the same numbers in the same place over and over every time. That's atomic notation and that's a wrap. Best of luck.